Short kings who beat monsters. Just wait till you see who beat Ronnie Coleman. Number 9. Sean Clarita. Sean Clarita, standing at 5 feet 2 inches, is known as Little Ronnie Coleman. Clarita has packed an incredible amount of muscle mass onto his frame, making him a formidable competitor in the 212 division. His achievements as a two-time 212 Olympia champion in 2020 and 2022 are a testament to his dedication and skill. Clarita's unique achievement of reclaiming the 212 Olympia title after losing it showcases his resilience and determination. His victory at the 2021 Legion Sports Fest Pro, where he outperformed men's open division competitors like Regan Grimes and Sergio Oliva Jr., earned him the moniker, the Giant Killer. Competing in the 2023 Arnold Classic in the open division, Clarita stood alongside giants like Big Ramey and Nick Walker. His fifth place finish, beating larger athletes such as Akeem Williams and Justin Rodriguez, is a remarkable feat that highlights his extraordinary capabilities. Number 8. John Citrone. John Citrone is another 5'4 powerhouse. His journey began with a bang, winning the junior Mr. Britain title at just 17 years old. Citrone's prime years spanned from 1966 to 1969, during which he dominated the short class of the Naba Mr. Universe. Citrone's most notable encounters were with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he consistently challenged the 6'2 legend for the overall title. His career is adorned with several Masters trophies, showcasing his longevity and dedication to the sport. At 80 years old, Citrone is still an active and passionate bodybuilder, training five days a week. His commitment to fitness and bodybuilding is not just inspiring, but also a testament to how the sport can positively impact longevity and quality of life. Citrone is not just one of the greatest short bodybuilders of all time, he's also arguably one of the fittest grandfathers you'll ever come across. Number 7. Mohamed Makawi Mohamed Makawi, a 5'3 powerhouse, was renowned for his proportionate and flowing physique. His ability to outshine larger competitors like Frank Zane and Bertel Fox earned him the nickname The Magic Egyptian. Makawi's symmetrical build made him appear larger than life, a testament to his meticulous training and attention to detail. Makawi's journey in bodybuilding began at the age of 16 when he won the 1969 Mr. Egypt. His early start in Olympic weightlifting, where he excelled with impressive lifts, laid a solid foundation for his bodybuilding career. Inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger, Makawi transitioned to bodybuilding and quickly made a name for himself. His most notable achievements include runner-up finishes at the Mr. Olympia in 1983 and 1984, where he bested legends like Lee Haney and Chris Dickerson. Makawi's career is a story of elegance, symmetry, and the triumph of aesthetics over sheer size. Number 6. Danny Padilla Danny Padilla, standing at 5 feet 2 inches, began his bodybuilding journey at just 7 years old. His dedication and passion for the sport were evident from an early age, and he quickly rose to prominence in the bodybuilding world. Padilla's career is marked by significant victories, including winning the overall 1975 Mr. USA at 24 and Mr. America at 26. Despite never winning a pro show, his career was illustrious, highlighted by his participation in five Mr. Olympia shows from 1978 to 1982. His best finish at the Mr. Olympia was a commendable fifth place in 1981, Padilla's ability to defeat competitors much taller and heavier than him earned him widespread admiration and the nickname The Giant Killer. His victory over Mike Menzer in his rookie year as a pro in 1979 is still talked about in bodybuilding circles. Number 5. Flavio Baccianini Flavio Baccianini, at 4 feet 10 inches, turned pro as a bantamweight and made history as the shortest ever Mr. Olympia competitor in 1993. He impressively finished 13th out of 22. Weighing around 145 pounds, he also secured third place in a pro show that same year. Baccianini's real triumph came as a Masters competitor. In both 1999 and 2000, he was the runner-up in the Masters Olympia, only behind Vince Taylor. His ability to defeat 16 men in the first Masters Olympia and 14 in the second showcases his exceptional talent and determination. Flavio Baccianini's cheerful demeanor and formidable presence on stage made him a favorite among fans and competitors alike. 
His victory over a young Ronnie Coleman in 1992 further cements his status as a giant slayer in the sport. If that's not enough, there's one more short king who defeated Coleman. Stay tuned. Number four, Thierry Pastel. Thierry Pastel, standing at a compact five feet two inches, is a name that resonates in the bodybuilding world for his remarkable achievements. Known for his chiseled abs and impressive arms, Pastel made a significant impact right from his first competition. His journey in the world of bodybuilding saw him clinching several WABA titles before making a switch to the IFBB, where he continued to dazzle audiences with his perfect V-taper. Pastel's ability to defeat taller competitors, including legends like Ronnie Coleman, Lou Ferrigno, Kevin Lavrone, and Nasser El Sonbadi, is a testament to his exceptional skill and dedication. His most notable accomplishment was an eighth-place finish at the 1991 Mr. Olympia, a remarkable feat considering the fierce competition. Pastel's career is a story of triumph over physical limitations, proving that height is just a number when it comes to bodybuilding. Number 3. Steve Brisbois Steve Brisbois, hailing from Canada and standing at 5 feet 3 inches, is a prime example of how symmetry and proportion can triumph in the world of bodybuilding. Brisbois's breakthrough came in 1986 when he won the overall Canadian Championships as a lightweight. His early years in the pros were challenging, but by 1989 he had found his stride, consistently placing in the top six of numerous pro shows. His performances at the Arnold Classics from 1990 to 1992 were particularly impressive. His 11th place finish in the 1992 Mr. Olympia, ahead of legends like Lou Ferrigno and Ronnie Coleman, is a testament to his skill and determination. However, the untimely death of his friend Ben Aziza in 1992 led Brisbois to retire from competitive bodybuilding at the age of 31, leaving fans to wonder what more he could have achieved in the sport. Number 2. Mohamed Ben Aziza Mohamed Ben Aziza, standing at a modest 5 feet 3 inches, was a force to be reckoned with. Known for his incredible transformation, Ben Aziza added a whopping 30 pounds of muscle after turning pro a feat that allowed him to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the giants of the sport. His career took off after a fifth-place finish at the 1989 Olympia, leading to an impressive streak of victories, including six titles in 1990 and two more in 1992. Benaziza's prowess was evident when he finished second at the 2023 Arnold Classic and once again claimed the fifth spot at the Olympia in the same year. His ability to defeat legends like Ronnie Coleman and Dorian Yates earned him the title of one of the greatest giant killers in bodybuilding history. Tragically, Benaziza's life and career were cut short in 1992 due to severe dehydration after his final victory. Number 1. Lee Priest Lee Priest, standing at 5 feet 4 inches, is known for his extraordinary arm development. Priest was a force to be reckoned with in the bodybuilding scene of the late 1990s and early 2000s. Despite his shorter stature, he consistently outshone taller competitors. Priest's journey in the sport began early, influenced by his bodybuilder mother. He won his first competition at 13, showcasing his remarkable genetics and dedication. By 20, he had already made his professional debut, a feat that speaks volumes about his work ethic and talent. His career highlights include prestigious wins at the 2002 San Francisco Pro and the 2006 Ironman Pro. Notably, Priest also boasts three sixth-place finishes at the Mr. Olympia in 1997, 2000, and 2002. His victory over Ronnie Coleman at the 1997 Ironman Pro remains the most remarkable. Ronnie himself calls it the most heartbreaking defeat of his career, 